Okay guys, we're the Flip Flop family and we have hired out this condo juicy van for four weeks now with two adults and two little kids. Um, it's been great, but I think it's good that we're at the end now. I think three weeks is perfect for this space. Four weeks was a bit too much. I'm just gonna quickly show you if you wanna rent out a condo because I found that I couldn't find anything proper online all about it. So I'm gonna quickly show you. This is the kind of kitchen area. You get a nice good sized fridge right here. Um, which has also a freezer compartment at the top, which is quite good. Um, so that was perfect space for us. You also have um, two cupboards here, which has all your bits and pieces, and it has a lock on it to stop things from falling out when you're driving. You get a colander, you get a saucepan, a frying pan, all the necessary bits and pieces. You also get a toaster. The one thing you don't get is a grater, which I definitely did miss while I was on this trip. Um, and you get a kettle. The toaster you can only use when you are plugged into a powered site. Um, you do have two rings, it's a gas stove and there's a gas bottle outside which I'll show you. Both really good, we didn't even use a, even half a bottle in the whole four weeks. You get a chopping board which fits nicely over the top of the sink and um, the what else do you get? And you get uh, all these pockets which fit all your, um, you get four mugs, four wine glasses, four big plates, four small plates and four bowls. And you've got more pouches here at the top so you can shove everything in exactly where you want to have it. Um, this is just for storage, so you've got, that's the only real place that you can put um, all your food, um, all your items that you've bought, but we just shoved them into the other pockets at the top too. It worked out quite well. Um, in terms of safety, you have a um, fire extinguisher here. There's no fire um, towel, like blanket thing, which I thought was a bit strange, but anyway, that's all there is. Ventilation at the top, make sure you open it when you cook. There is a, um, a mosquito guard and also a sunshade, which is perfect. Um, if you just come on in now, I will show you a bit more. When you, um, at all times, as long as you do enough driving, your battery will always be charged so that you can use all these items. That's for the lights, that's for your fridge, that's for your water pump, and ACC is so that you can use these sockets here, which is USB, so you can do all your charging. If you have a plug and you need to charge, you can only use it when you are plugged into a mains, which is gonna be at normally a paid campsite, and you have two plug sockets right there, which you can use. You can only use your toaster and your heater when you are also plugged in to a paid campsite. So make sure that you do that too. Um, in terms of um, privacy, all these all these blinds let down so that you can make it all dark at night. This is your little stepper, which helps you to get up to the top bunk. This literally just pulls out to give you a double bed at the top. And this bottom bit here is the fun bit, which gives you a double bed at the bottom. So you just release this here and pull this. And that literally gives you your double bed at the bottom. So there isn't really much space for storage, unfortunately, which is what we struggled with with suitcases. But you do have this bit of space underneath, which you can use. We've got four camping chairs underneath. And if you get a camping table too, you're not really gonna have much room. So I would advise to leave the chairs and keep that as your, keep that as your space for storage. All right, so that goes back nicely. And there you go. You also have a table right here, which you literally just pull up and it slots into these here. Nice table for indoor eating, which one thing I didn't show you around the back, there's also a table here. So if you are using, if you want to eat outdoors, that's a really handy little table. So that is the juicy condo on the inside. Let me just show you the gas at the back. This is where your gas goes. Um, we only really had to worry about opening it up when we went on the inter-island ferry to disconnect it and also to refill before giving it back to Juicy. And the other part you need to know about is the water. This is where you fill your fresh water up. If I can open it up, I'll show you. It's just a, just a little hose really. That's where you fill up all your fresh water. And again, you can do that at most paid sites and petrol stations too. And this is where you get rid of your grey water. Mommy. Your dirty water comes out of here. So you literally just undo that cap. And as soon as I pull that, which I won't, because you'll get soaked, all the dirty water comes out. And that is literally everything that you need to know bar one most important thing, which makes the self-contained standard for this van so that you can use Freedom Campsites is the toilet. So I'll just show you the toilet which is in there and literally you just pull that out, lift up the lid and sit on it and that is your self-contained 
vehicle, that's for your power, and that's for your water hose. Everything quite neatly, quite neatly, compactly put into the van. You've got three seats, so if you want the middle seat, you just pull up that bit in the middle to give yourself three seats. All in all, it is a juicy van. We did use quite a lot of petrol, but I'll put all the stats down below on the link. I hope you liked our roundup. This is the Juicy Condo, and we are the Flip Flop family.